Welcome to Northland Allotment. Guess what? It's raining. Again. just a brief trip it's a couple of days after the sunny day I had and yesterday my husband and my two-year-old came up with me to put our earlies in because at the moment I'm all about getting ready because we don't know what's happening I live in London there are rumors of a lockdown no one's quite sure if we're gonna be allowed to our allotments or not so there's a couple of things I've done to get ready just in case and perhaps there are things you could do as well just to get ready you've probably got one more day to do it if the rumors are true so i'll show you what i've done and why okay first thing i've done is compost i went to the local cafe who give me their raw veg waste i've brought the bokashi bin up because the other one's almost full and i don't want to have to put my food waste in the bin the local cafe are also doing something really, really wonderful. And I don't know if any around you are, but it's certainly worth a mention. What our local cafe is doing is they've stopped doing sit-in food. They're doing takeout food. They're doing takeout teas and coffee. But what they've actually now put the concentration on is making food for vulnerable people, people who haven't been able to get out. And they're delivering it in the local area. They've also got the food there if other people want to come and put a donation in. And they've done fundraising as well and the local community have more than doubled what they asked for so it's a really it's it's a really horrid time at the moment but people are coming together communities are coming together and looking out for each other so we've got that so that's something wonderful that's going on here and i will now tell you what else i've done to get ready I'm sure you remember this from my last video so oh my daffodils down what a shame what a shame, it's a beautiful one as well. Look at that, it's only just come out. Oh, what a shame, that's been snapped. That's a fox or something, I think. Could have been my two-year-old yesterday, but I didn't notice it then. So what we did, we came up, and these are one, two, three, four, seven rows of first earlies. And the soil, as I will show you here from this bit I'm standing on, is still wet, it's still thick clay. There goes a nice example. You don't have to go down very far to find clay. And so we couldn't get them very deep. So what I did, several barrels, barrels, barrows of wood chip to cover them over for the meantime. I did want to get the mains in there. I did want to get carrots and onions in. They're not in, but I'm not going to panic as long as the first earlies are in. Because no one is sure if we're going to be allowed to our allotments or not. So I wanted these in so they're growing. I do want the others in as well, but one thing at a time. In case of the lockdown this morning, I went to the local garden centre. Well, it's not very local anymore. It's up in Cruise Hill in Enfield and bought three bags of compost, which two of which are living in the car, one of which is in the flat because I am going to need to pot on. So this leads me to the next thing I need to get ready for. So you need compost. You also need plenty of pots. So I'm going to pick up probably too many pots but I don't think you can ever have too many really and I'm going to take them home because if I can't get back at least I can pot on everything. The other thing I need to do is make sure there is water in these trays for my onion and leek just to keep them going so they don't dry out. I don't think they will but if we have a really nice week next week which is predicted they might get a bit dry so better to have a bit of water in there than not. That's it for today. So I would say, think, what do you wish you had at home if you couldn't go out for two weeks? So for me, that's making sure I've got everything to grow seeds, everything to pot on and keep my seedlings healthy until I can get back here. I mean, I might be able to come, but I'm just assuming I might not be able to. Um, make sure I've got plenty of compost, plenty of pots. Also, I'm now going to be more vigilant at getting more seeds in because I can give plants to people 
um, even some of the tomatoes I've got will grow in a small pot in home, they're miniature tomatoes, I can give those to people and they can have some fresh tomatoes. So think about what you can do for other people, especially at this time. I was feeling a bit despondent because I'm going to be very busy homeschooling my six-year-old and looking after my two-year-old and I was like well I can't drive and deliver things I can't you know do a lot of things that other people perhaps can help out with other healthy people that is um, but then I realized because I am a qualified teacher and I still teach not at the moment because the schools are closed and I'm a supply teacher that's good fun um, I will be teaching my daughter so what I can do is I can plan her lessons that I'm going to deliver with all the resources and I can share that with her class or anyone else with kind of a similar age or ability child so that's my small thing I can do to perhaps make things a bit easier for other people because this is going to be something we need to share share the burden with each other so until next time stay healthy be kind and just keep going all right see you next time bye bye